the more I watch these wisdom teeth aftermath videos, the more I'm convinced that at least I'm gonna be that parent. <laughs> Morning, morning. This. I'm a little bit weirded out by the fact that I think they're supposed to be. They keep saying rain coming, rain coming, rain coming. I'm going like. Alright. I believe you, but. Yeah. And I said that not to Aaron, but basically someone as if someone. And. It just constantly makes me think of during insurrection when they're all getting a slightly bit younger and Riker gets real frisky. I think I'm having a midlife crisis and Troy's like, I believe you. And it just echoes in my head whenever I say the words, I believe you. Well, at least we don't have the screamy cat out here this morning. Probably was too warm outside and they brought it in. Well, it's sort of like the lady, the, the old lady downstairs that's not, she feeds the cat, it sleeps there, but it's not her cat. Mm. <laughs> Probably because she can't afford the cat. <laughs> That's why we don't have a pet. One of the things I was noticing yesterday when I was going down to turn in the Powerball, Powerball, Mega Bucks ticket for our free ticket, someone was walking down the sidewalk and they were talking on the phone. And then once they got within their earshot of me, they switched languages. <laughs> and then once, the moment they passed me, they switched back to English. They went from that to Spanish to that. Like, drop of a hat switched to Spanish. And I was like, you know, I'm always, with that kind of stuff, inclined to say, oh, well, the conversation just flowed there, but that's too much of a coincidence. Yeah, like, and that earshot is like, it was like maybe, at this point, it would be that second tree. Okay. Wasn't even that far. Yeah, no. And you know my ears, I can hear pretty well, especially when there isn't much else around, and the person is... And they were one of those people that isn't quiet on cell phones because, yeah. you know, just because the microphone's right here means you need to talk as loud as fucking possible. <laughs> and that's the, that's the weird thing is um, some people, when they have their little earphone thing in, they speak louder because their microphone isn't near their yeah. mouth. <laughs> like, there was someone... I love the people who hold the dangle mics right next to their mouth. The people that hold the dangle mics next to their mouth while they're driving. Your hands-free device is not so hands-free. Yeah. <laughs> or the fact that they're pushing, they're, or they're pushing it into their ear. Like, that'll make it hear better, which it's possible if it's one of those that, like, because I know that, you know, those little earbuds don't fit in everyone's ear. Yeah. Especially if you have the hard old iPhone ones, little, eye, little earbuds. Now they have the squishy ones that fit in everybody's ear, but before, I actually had to bend part of my ear and over many years to have it fit my... Yeah. And they still hurt a little bit. You have, like, barely a charge. What's going on here? But anyways, that last blip is always... I actually ran this thing out. You guys remember when I first got the camera, I ran that last blip out. I just kept recording. Kept recording the stupid shit. <laughs> Uh, so a while. It was about 10 minutes. Oh. Maybe more. I can't really remember because I was zoned because I didn't want to watch it, so I was playing WoW or Star Trek or something. Might have been even 15 minutes, but whatevs. Yeah. Like I said, at least during the game, at least during games, you can charge this thing with the uh, battery. Which is so cool. Yeah. Do we know how much of a charge it gives? The battery can fully charge the camera. Oh wow. Yep. Damn. Well, I'm not necessarily sure. I should actually test that since the battery's already fairly low. Yeah. I mean, I do understand to a point that it's like, we have these little things here that, I'm not actually sure what they say in another language. Westbound. Oh, okay, There's but. a lot of words for Westbound. Mm-hmm, let's find the German one. <laughs> it's just that guy sort of was like reading it and he kept sort of walking in the way and it's like, uh, it kind of reminded me of something you'd do. You'd get more enwrapped in the moment and you'd just sort of walk in everybody's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anything for your uh, day work thing? Uh, Wednesday? Yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing at work today. He wanted me to pick something at the store but he can't remember what. Yeah, I just have the nagging, have DJ pick it up. In my well, head. you have until about noon. Yeah, I, I'll remember around one, I'm sure. Okay. Like, 
I'll remember after you're at Freddy's. Well, when's your lunch typically? Noon. Well, if you haven't told me by lunch, it's not that important. Yeah. Whew. Train seems quiet. Yeah. Like it's coming in slower. I think it's like just oiled? Yeah. <laughs> or something like that, whatever. So after a somewhat eventful morning on Facebook discussing about anxiety and drag queens, um, I just got something humorous here in uh, Fred Meyer. Um, watched a guy walk in on his phone. Um, chatting up a storm, and he went over to the sanitizing wipe section, and... Do we need hummus? They ain't on sale, never mind, we don't need hummus. <laughs> um, so, he, he walked over to the sanitizing wipe station, and grabbed a sanitizing wipe, wiped the hand, or he moved it around with his hand that he was holding with, and then he swapped phone, and he swapped his hand, phone, into the sanitizing wipe, grabbed another one, did this little thing with it, then put his phone down on the sanitizing wipe thing, and then wiped both of his hands with both the sanitizing wipes, and then wiped his phone down. After saying, I need to call you back, wiped his phone down, then stuck it back on. And then he went around the corner, grabbed one of the hand baskets with both the hand wipes, and put it together and held it on with one hand. And I have a cold here, and I don't care. <laughs> uh, I just realized that I'm walking around to the store with it, and I'm probably infectious with a cold. I'm making his life a miserable hell. So, I'm going to be finishing up the vlog here by just leaving Freddy's. I have two of the other new chips. I'm not necessarily sure if we need to get the kettle cooked ones or whatever. the Because it's just like, it's like a salt and pepper sort of kind. I can't remember. What are you? I literally have the bags right here and could tell you. It's a... Olive oil and herb. It doesn't sound like it's gonna be much of a uh, taste wow as the other ones are. So, something apparently has exploded on my Facebook. This is completely other than the whole drag queen um, conversation. This is involving um, the letter from Apple to its customers because the San Bernardino shooting, the FBI wants to pull, want, wants access to the phone, and Apple's like, well, then we'd have to release a program that cracks the phone. And they go, if, anyways, it's a big deal. Regardless, I'm not, not really on either side. As I said on someone else's post, they, they shared it, and then I shared the one from ABC News, but they shared the actual Apple letter, and I just, <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I just want to see the fight. You know, I don't care who wins. It's sort of like, I didn't really have, I had a reason to have both people in the Super Bowl win. Because it would have been most likely, and we haven't had nothing conclusive yet about it being Peyton's last Super Bowl. Well, it would have been great. Win his last Super Bowl. Yay! And then Cam would have won his last suit, or his first suit, you know what I mean, It and the Panthers had a great run, and yada yada. I had a reason for both of them. I wanted to watch the fight. Was it a good fight? It was a fairly decent fight. The problem is, this is a homeland security issue involving terrorism, involving <laughs> during an election year, and this is national security against big corporation. So, yeah... I want to watch this play out. I want to watch it play out on the news. I want to watch it play out on the campaign trail. I want to watch it play out just like between the Republicans too. Like I can see some of them just saying, you know, oh, down with, it's just sort of like, what you know, what side does Trump take on this one? Is he go against big company, you know, big corporation? Because isn't he a big corporation? Uh, or does he go against national security? You see what I mean? This is great! Um, apparently people are getting polarized on my Facebook, and yeah, so... Um, what's your thoughts? Tell me below. Um, I bought popcorn, just in case things get really juicy over the next couple weeks.